amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today coming to you from Bilbao. Bilbao is the post-industrial city par excellence of Spain. And uh, we're going to show you around some of the main areas of this city. And one thing I'm going to say is that I am well impressed by this city. In fact, uh, rarely have I seen a more impressive city in Spain than Bilbao. So, uh, Let's go and take a look at uh, some of the main attractions. And of course, one of the reasons why Bilbao is so spectacular is because of buildings like that, the Guggenheim Museum, which along with this other architectural monument here, which is a bridge by a famous architect called Calatrava. So the Guggenheim was designed by Geary and the bridge by Calatrava, and they're called Starchitects, famous architects that come to a city and add life to uh, an otherwise boring city, let's say. And Bilbao certainly has taken advantage of this. There's a saying that if you build it, they will come. And uh, no doubt that through building these two fantastic emblematic architectural wonders, the bridge and the museum, people flock to this city in their droves. And uh, Bilbao certainly knows how to take advantage of that. And that's another fantastic thing about Bilbao is the public transport system. Buses, trams, metro, trains, you name it, Bilbao has got it. Now, as I said before, Bilbao is the post-industrial city that a lot of other cities envy because it's been able to transform itself from a heavily industrial city into one of the modern wonders of uh, Spain. And if you talk to people that are from this area, I've had quite a lot of students over the years that are from Bilbao, and they tell you that 20, 25 years ago, this wasn't a place that you'd like to come to. It was uh, dirty, dark. In fact, I read the other day that uh, Bilbao used to choke on its own pollution. But they've managed to transform the city, and uh, today it's absolutely spectacular. And of course, the weather's really turned it on. It's a little bit cloudy, but the sun's out now, and uh, it is a fantastic city. I'll also say that Bilbao is a very clean city. It's well kept. It seems to be incredibly accessible. Lots of bicycles around the place, people riding scooters. Just a city that seems generally easy to get around. You can see there a bicycle just gone by me here. So in that sense, great. This man has uh, volunteered to be our tour guide to uh, take us to something which is called El Pupi. So we're going to see uh, exactly what that is. It's amazing how friendly people are in this city. And you can see that people here are just in awe of the architecture of the museum. I mean, it must be one of the most photographed places in Spain. Now apparently that's where uh, Poopy is, some type of dog, at the top of those stairs over there. And we're going to work our way around and uh, see it properly, so uh, stay tuned for that. So behind me you will see Delsto University, which is the uh, centre of learning here in Bilbao. Lots of the more famous Bilbao business people have come out of this university. Leaders of industry, leaders of banking, a very uh, well recognised university here in Spain and uh, the quality of the students that they produce. And here's another view from one of the bridges here near the Dausto University. I mean, I mean, you can't describe a view like this with words. Amazing. So you can see the way that the river splits the valley and uh, everything is built on both sides of the river. Magnificent views from basically anywhere you look in this city, at least this part anyway. Now another one of the pros about a city like Bilbao is the food, the food and drink. Again, one of the better places in Spain. In fact, everywhere in the north you're going to be able to eat and drink fairly well. But Bilbao is one of those places that takes it to the next level, in my opinion. Uh, they have a culture here which is the pincho culture. And you walk into a lot of the places and they've got these pinchos on top of the, uh, the bar. And you choose what you want to eat, you get a drink. Sometimes you can get a deal, a uh, pincho and a drink included for a decent price. So, uh, well recommended from that point of view. Bicycle just sped past me there, so you've got to be careful here, but that's another plus of a city like this, that they've got great bicycle lanes and you can get around the city fairly well by bike. Another thing you'll notice here in Bilbao is there's heaps and heaps of places for kids to play. It's a city that's really orientated towards children. Lots of parks like this where kids can just stop and play, 
keep them occupied for 10, 15, 20 minutes. I mean, uh, great place to be here with kids. And you can see my son there on the swings and uh, he's having a great time here in Bilbao. Now another pro here, of course, is the public transport, as I said before. This is uh, one of the tram lines. There's an above ground tram system here, which uh, gets you around the center of the city really easily. And uh, if you don't want to take the tram, there's always buses and trains and everything. Here comes a tram now, or light rail, or whatever you want to call it. Elsko tren, fairly small, easy way to get around, cheap, and uh, quite efficient. All right, so there's the famous poopy. Thanks to our guide who pointed that out. We'll go up to the uh, top there and check it out for ourselves, but it seems to be a fairly big plant-based sculpture of a dog. Let's go and have a look. And of course, walking up their stairs will take us into the new part of Bilbao, which is where you'll find all of the, the modern businesses. So Poopy is actually puppy. I was uh, fooled by the uh, Spanish pronunciation of the word there. Poopy, puppy. And uh, yeah, makes sense now. And you can see here that Jeff Koons is a uh, puppy's artist. They change the plants twice a year and they're in that process at the moment. You can see the workmen up there changing the plants. In fact, everywhere you look in Bilbao, there seems to be a piece of art. So here we are in the modern part of Bilbao. You can see that we've got the uh, metro over here, which is uh, one of the newer additions to the city. And uh, we're going to take a walk down the Gran Via, Bilbao's Gran Via. And we'll check it out. It's where a lot of the big businesses are here in Bilbao. This is also a magnificent part of the city. The newer part of the city meaning that it's not the Casco Antiguo, where I was this morning. And I'll show you a little bit of the Casco Antiguo in the uh, video at the end here. But uh, this is a great part of the city here. So here we are walking through the main thoroughfare of Bilbao. Lots of businesses on each side, lots of banks lots of shops people are out and about and one thing you will notice in a city like this is that everything moves at a different rhythm compared to madrid or barcelona it's uh, really really relaxed people take time to enjoy life and uh yeah quality of life in a city like this second to none there's a language school in the center of bilbao as well so uh, work opportunities here also exist especially if you want to teach english and uh Probably a lot of other opportunities as well, given that Bilbao is a very dynamic city. Now it's 4.50 p.m., 10 to 5, 19 degrees. Uh, absolutely beautiful weather and Bilbao is starting to come alive. And then we have El Corte Inglés. You know that you are in the center of a Spanish city when you find El Corte Inglés. And there is the Bilbao version. Bang, smack in the middle of the city. All right, now I've left the family somewhere. I'm just going to go and look for them. So I'll see if I can find them. Apparently they're in a bar somewhere having a drink. So uh, let's see if we can find where they are. But uh, we'll take a walk down this street here, which seems to be pedestrianized. And uh, it seems to be quite a relaxed street. What's it called? Calle de Ledesma. Ledesma is the famous food street, let's say. One of the places where there are lots and lots of places to eat and drink in Bilbao. A little bit quiet at the moment, but uh, come eight or nine o'clock this evening, this place will be pumping. So we'll go for a walk along Calle Ledesma, which as I said before, is the, the place where all the bars and restaurants are here in Bilbao, or at least one of the most famous places. There's bars and restaurants all over this place. So you'll never go hungry or thirsty in a city like this. And uh, as you can see, Every place has their wares on offer. And even now at five o'clock in the afternoon, you can see that there's a lot of people out and about having a drink, having a chat, conversing with friends, meeting with friends. It's not a public holiday today. It is in Madrid. So you can see that there's uh, obviously lots of tourists, but lots of activity in their street at uh, all times of the day. You can see that even the little dogs are quite patient waiting for their owners to come out from uh, having a coffee or a drink. Now the secret to city like Bilbao's is that they're just so manageable. You can get around everywhere just so easily. Even if you don't want to take public transport, you can walk to the majority of the places and, you know, uh, bikes and other forms of getting around just so easy. Thumbs up in that regard. All right, so I've managed to find the family. There they are sitting there having a coffee. So uh, next step will be taking the metro and uh, off we go to get show. All right, so we've left Bilbao. We're now in Getcho. 
which is on the right hand side of the uh, Ria going down towards the coast and it's one of the more exclusive parts of the region as you can see it's very green lots of houses individual houses here lots of parks lots of people walking dogs we've uh, picked up a tourist guide a guy on the bus has uh, decided to show us around the area and uh, the second time today that somebody's decided to show us the site so uh, people in Bilbao more than friendly now unfortunately I'm running out of battery on this camera it's the second one I've gone through today so I don't know how much of Getsch I'm going to be able to show you hopefully a little bit but uh, what I can see so far this is uh, residential living in Bilbao at its best and you can see here that we're coming up to a place where there's uh, views of the Ria and uh, they look to be absolutely spectacular According to the uh, young man that's showing us around, we've uh, got not too bad a day. The problem here is the, uh, the fog, and uh, it's not so foggy today, so you should be able to see some parts of the river and uh, other areas of uh, Getcho here. Oh yeah, look at this, wow. And from up here as well, you can also get a taste of the old industrial Bilbao as well. You can see over there, there's shipyards and a lot of uh, industrial activity happening so you can imagine 30 years ago or even longer what this part of the city was like and the views from here are spectacular and if we go all the way around here looking out onto the other side of the river or the rear or the estuary and you can see here that we've got wind turbines there generating energy and uh, as we go out into the bay of biscayne spectacular okay so i'll wrap this video up now some of the pros and cons about living in a city like this should you be deciding to come to live in spain and basically there's more pros than cons in my opinion bilbao is a clean and manageable city it's well designed you've got both sides of the river for living on you've also got the greater bilbao area as well where you could get cheaper cost of living of course and uh, as I said, the city is very, very well designed. It has a fantastic public transport system, one of the best that I've seen in Spain so far. Really easy to get around the city. Also lots of bicycles moving around the city as well because it seems to be relatively flat in certain areas. The design of the city is also second to none and it's a really dynamic city. There's lots of business activity happening, lots of services, and Bilbao has really been able to transform itself in that regard. Of course, it is gonna be prone to high unemployment like other areas in Spain. That's just the way Spain works. During the crisis, Bilbao, the unemployment level probably got up into the 20% range as well because that's what happens in Spain. Not too much you can do about that, but now the city's really pumping and there's lots of life and lots of activity. The food culture here is spectacular. In my opinion, they have the pincho culture. Pincho is the word they use in Basque for tapa. Unfortunately, they're not free. There are other cities in Spain where you can buy a drink and basically eat for free that doesn't happen in Bilbao so it's a little bit more expensive from that point of view but uh, if you don't mind paying for these things and other types of cuisine magnificent a real foodie paradise great wine as well not really many local wines of course they have Chacali which is a white wine but the red wine comes from the nearby Rioja region it's a city that offers that blend of mountains and coast you've got the beach about 20 minutes away you can go to the beaches in Getcho if you like surfing you can go to a place like Mundaka which is world famous for surfing and there's other coastal areas quite close and quite accessible by public transport or by car and then you've got the mountain aspect as you can see here everything's green fantastic for riding your bike in the mountains for hiking and all of those uh, mountain activities that you can think of Bilbao certainly is a city that offers wonderful choice for sport however the weather is the thing that is always going to be in the background here. The weather can change like that, basically. It can go from a sunny day like we have now to a rainy day at the flick of a switch. But that's just something that you've got to get used to. And in my opinion, the quality of life here outweighs the weather aspect. But if you're used to a sunny climate, it could get you down. But if you're coming from another European city and you want a more milder climate, Bilbao could be one of the places that you could visit. But like with Asturias a few weeks ago when I was there, the, uh, the green comes at a cost and it is the rain, unfortunately. Now when it comes to the cost of living, Bilbao is not the cheapest city in Spain. 
in fact to uh, eat and drink I found it to be more expensive uh, in some cases than Madrid in the center area of Bilbao you couldn't get a menu del dia for less than 13 or 14 euros at least those are some of the prices that I saw obviously you're going to be able to get cheaper menus del dia but around 13 or 14 euros for that and again you don't get that free tapas or that free pincho culture that you can get in other places in Spain as well so in that regard a little bit of a negative but again it's offset by the general quality of life and the standard of living in a place like this and uh, to be honest I've been impressed everything that I've seen here has been really good another thing you'll notice when you come to Bilbao is the strong Basque culture you'll see signs of the language everywhere you'll hear people speaking the language although you can communicate in Spanish or Castellano Spanish really easily in a place like this everybody speaks both languages nowadays kids are educated in Basque but they speak Castellano Spanish so there's no problems to communicate in that regard but in general Bilbao gets a big thumbs up it's a fantastic city well worth considering should you be thinking of living in Spain so that's where I'll leave the video questions or comments please leave them in the section below if you've got an opinion on Bilbao or you have lived in the city please share it in the comment section below give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one hasta luego, agur. Yeah.